Hey everybody, it's Sandra from the Funky Pickle Thrifter. So thank you so much for coming. Um, I do have a bunch of jewelry that I just bought, so I wanted to share that with everybody. Uh, I got most of these things within the past couple of weeks. Uh, first up, I got this ring. This has to be silver. I mean, how can this not be silver? It's very unusual. Don't you love that? I've never seen anything like this before. And I don't know which way it looks better. If it's better like this or the other way, but I really do love this. That's a pretty great item, I think. Look at the roses, the leaves. How pretty is this thing? Very cool. Now, I also got this. I mean, it's clearly stainless, and it is signed. I've never heard of this before, but it does have a little bit of value. Um, Moda Handmade in Malta. I looked this up. Now I can't remember what I found. But I'm not sure. I might keep it, actually. I already wore it the other night, and I really, really loved it. I think it's just a great summer bracelet. Very different, right? And then I found these. Now, uh, immediately you can tell that they're very, very high quality. They are Metropolitan Museum of Art, 1993 KHM. What's up, Abigail? Hmm? I'm outside in the screen room. Yeah, you're a good girl, aren't you? Hi, Rosie. You guys want to be on the camera? Say hi. Hi. You girls love jewelry too, right? Yes, you do. Hi. All right. Don't get feisty. What are you doing? You got your toy? You got your toy? Okay, I'm busy. Be quiet. All right. Now, this also came with these matching earrings, and these weren't a lot of money. I think they were a dollar each, so I think it was a... No, actually, I think the earrings were 25 cents. Yeah, it was 25 cents for clip-on earrings, and I think the necklaces were a dollar. So that's what I paid, and I just love these. They're so elegant looking. I wonder what work in the museum these are based on. I just love them. What a beautiful set. Then I got all these from the same thrift store. Now, these must have been from the same donation. These are not MMA, but the quality is very, very high on these. These are very elegant, kind of circa 1980s or 1990s clip-on earrings. These are so nice. Look at these. It's like they've never been worn. They're just in excellent condition. I love these. And then I got these. These are kind of that Greek key sort of look. And I couldn't see a signature on them, but they're nice. And they were cheap, you know, because I guess in the thrift store, they just make the assumption because they're clip-ons, nobody wants them. I mean, I sure do. And, of course, these are Egyptian beetles, uh, also called scarabs. And these are MMA. There it is. These are really cool, actually. I love the setting. This is a nice kind of flat setting. Beautiful clear rhinestones. Very cool. Definitely look like antiques, too. And then these are also MMA. And this is really awesome looking. I guess this has a Celtic thing, right? How cool. And it's like really kind of red, black enameling. And they're signed right there, MMA, CMA. Those are lovely. And then I got these because, of course, they're sterling. Oh, those are really nice. Look at that. Can't lose the backs, right? <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know who that designer is, but there's the sterling. Those are really pretty. I had to come inside because my wild beasts were making too much noise out there. Uh, there's a, a dog in the neighborhood, like right on the other side of our fence that, uh, yeah, they like to bark at anyway. So I had to bring them in. Uh, so anyway, I picked this thing up. This is Bo Sterling. It's like a little wiener dog. There it is, Bo Stir. So I think this might have uh, a little value. Then I got this beautiful bracelet. This is sterling. Of course it is. You can tell that. And are these called potato pearls? 
Who knows what these are called? I think they might be. This is a very pretty bracelet. Nice little toggle clasp. Well, I certainly think this was worth a dollar. It's very pretty. Again, just another very cool item for summer. Look at this cute thing. I love this. Now, you know, people do call these jelly bellies. It is kind of acceptable to do so, but I think most people know these are technically not jelly bellies. Jelly bellies have to be clear lucite or uh, clear plastic, you know, because lucite is a very specific thing, right? It was made by DuPont, um, but I know people just say lucite the way that we say hand me a Kleenex or Q-tip or whatever. Anyhow, whatever they are, <laughs> I think they're very beautiful. I love the vibrant colors and I love this sort of cat's eye look. Isn't that cool? So I found this necklace in a thrift store and it's just very beautiful and it's very, very high quality. So this is an Anne Klein, but it isn't just like a typical Anne Klein. You know, this sort of has a more couture look to it. And, um, Oh, for heaven's sakes, there it is. <laughs> and it says Anne Klein right there. This is very he heavy and it's brushed gold and it's really uh, lovely. And it came with this matching bracelet. So I think I'm going to be able to sell these for uh, a little bit of money. So I'm going to definitely put these on my eBay page pretty soon. Those are just uh, beautiful. This is totally going to be somebody's thing that they're going to really be able to rock. What a great looking set. You would never know this isn't real gold. It just looks so real. Yeah, these pieces are really outstanding. Here's some clear crystals. This is so nice. It was $2. I have so many already, but I, I couldn't help myself. They're very beautifully faceted. Isn't that pretty? I just love this. This would go with any color, any outfit, very sparkly. Look at this necklace. This is really amazing. Now this is molded glass. It's in a really beautiful shade of pink. And then it has these clear flowers and then all these sort of faux pearl dangles. Isn't that amazing? It has these beads too, these pink beads. This is just beautiful. I can't believe I got this for $2 in a thrift store. I am kind of crazy about this. Isn't that nice? Take a look at the catch. It's just a spring ring. It is gold filled. Isn't that different? I kind of quickly looked. I couldn't find anything uh, as cool as this. And I don't know. I might be able to get triple digits for this. I'm not sure yet. But um, yeah, this is really special. This isn't one you're going to find again, you know. When I get really special pieces like this, I do like to charge up for it a little bit because I don't think it's anything that anybody's going to be able to find again. It's just gorgeous. I don't know if it has any breaks or anything like that. I didn't see anything, but I'll have to really look closely with my magnifying glasses and all of that. But that's beautiful. Look what I found. I couldn't believe I found this. this these were in a thrift store. These are pretty fun, I think. That's awesome. That has a yin and yang thing. Fun, not real, just fun. Now I found this thing in a thrift store and I didn't pay much for it. I think he charged me five for the whole thing. So I have to look all these up. Now, hopefully some of these here will sell for something individually. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna have to sit here and look them all up, which will be really fun because I do love these. Let's see what's on the other side here. So if none of them are worth anything, which I bet you something is going to be worth a little bit, but um, if nothing is worth anything, then I'll just lot them up and I'll just sell them all at once. But I will cherry pick out the good ones and sell those separately and then I'll lot the rest. And then I'll probably sell this whole thing, this lanyard thing right here. Anyway. That was kind of a cool find. So I love buying Disney stuff like this because it's not anything that I collect or anything that I'm interested in. So this one is just sheerly a moneymaker. Oops, and this one, this one just fell off. 
So here's an antique. I believe this is from the 1910s or thereabout. It is Mark J and A. I'm sorry I'm blanking right now on who that is, but I do know who that is. 8305. I think this might be from the early 1910s. Beautiful piece of silver. I don't know what kind of stone that is. I guess that's just glass. That sure is nice, though. I love this. I found this actually in a pawn store. And the guy said, well, you know, it's not silver because it's not marked, blah, blah, blah. So just give me five bucks. And most of the things, like the pieces of jewelry in this pawn store, like everything was $100 and up. So I thought that was kind of funny that he uh, let this one slip through the cracks. So I don't always buy Leah Sophia unless it's very special. I think this one is, I think this is just a very cool, uh, futuristic almost looking necklace. I just love this. And uh, then I got all these two. These are Leah Sophia. So what I do with these uh, in general, if they're 25 cents or 50 cents, I'll buy them and then I just lot them all up and sell them on eBay. So that's probably what I'm going to do here. Um, unless, I don't know, I might be able to sell this one separately. Not sure. I'll probably just sell all these together. They are really pretty. Not old or anything, but um, yeah, I kind of like them. So I found this very lovely plastic pin the other day in a little tiny uh, thrift store. I was so excited to find this pink plastic bow. And believe it or not, as I was going through the bowl of stuff, I found another one. What a cute set. I just love these. These are probably from the 40s, I'm guessing. Really adorable. What a great pin set that is. I think I paid 25 cents each for these. I just got this little pin somewhere. Now, this certainly looks like sterling to me, and it's not magnetic. Of course, I'll have to pull out all my stuff and give this a quick test. I'm not sure, but this does look real to me. It also looks plenty old to me, too. So I have to just look a little bit further into this one. But either way, I think this one was a dollar in a thrift store. I'm really happy to have it. I think it's very, very cool. Here's a very cool ring. I love this thing. This one is signed Max C. I think I got this one over the summer, actually. I forgot I had this one. I was trying to look it up. I can't remember now if I figured it out or if I didn't, but I can't remember now. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, this is just a great ring. I think it's very interesting. Let me see if I can zoom it in here. Kind of loses focus when I do. No, there you go. I think it's very creative. I really like uh, the use of silver and the way that they kind of use a leaf motif here. And then there's some of these that look kind of like curly cue bits of silver. I just really like everything about this. I think it's very different. So that's a ring I got inexpensively that I love. So I got this in a thrift store. I thought this was very interesting. I mean, it might be a little more ordinary, but for this sort of branchy stuff here, I think that looks really cool. I don't know. I really like it. I like the two tones metal too. I like the gold and the silver tone. And uh, of course, the best thing about this, well, not the best thing, but a really good thing is that it has its matching earrings to it. So I think that's really uh, pretty interesting, very weird, very different, never seen anything like it. I really like this set. It just has kind of a cool mid-century look to it. And I always get excited when I find poison rings. I just love finding these. This was a dollar in a thrift store. So how cool is this thing? It's marked star 925 sterling right there. So poison rings have been around since ancient Roman times, at least that uh, historians know of. It's something that you would wear hundreds of years ago to escape, um, you know, a, a painful death. If you were a spy or something like that, you would have this and you would be able to take your own life or, of course, put it in somebody's tea or something. But it, they're not only for poison. You know, obviously, you could put um, a religious relic in here. You could put hair in here. You could put a picture in here. You could put any kind of keepsake, a little note. So anyway, I love poison rings. This one's probably not that old. This one is likely from the 60s, maybe newer. But um, I really do love poison rings, and I think this one's very, very nice. Interesting, right? I don't remember where I got this ring. It may have been um, at a yard sale. 
I'm not sure, but I thought this was kind of different. I really like it. Isn't it unusual? Kind of cool. Then I got these great 1980s huge earrings, and I just love this 80s look. It's really chunky and bold. But the best thing is I have the matching necklace here. This is a great collar necklace. It's really big, super cool. I did get this in a thrift store and I did uh, pay $5 for all three pieces, which I thought was a very good price. So that was very, very fair. You can see right there, it says Monet. Of course, it's upside down because it always is. <laughs> but look, it snaps, which I think is pretty interesting, right? Yeah, I really love collar necklaces and I really love this one. It's very dynasty, I think. And it's awesome that it also comes with the original earrings and they're pierced earrings too. So that's pretty cool. I really love this navy blue color too. That's a great set. So the other day I was at a thrift store and they had a lot of long necklaces like this. Now, I don't think this has much age. This is a newer piece, but this is just beautiful with these glass beads. You can see it ties right here, and then it has this part right here dangling down. Lots of great crystals there, very rainbowy, very beautiful. I love these. And up here you have these smaller beads, also with the AB coating. It's this kind of vibe, you know, except it's really much, much longer. I love that one. Then I found this necklace at a yard sale. This was inexpensive, and it is silver. I don't really like this cord though, but I don't know what you do if you take this off and the cord's kind of shot. So, um, but I think all of this back here is silver too. So I'm not really sure what to do about this one, but I, I did really like it. You can't go wrong for a dollar, right? Then I got this great bracelet. I love this mid-century bracelet. You can tell right away that it's a Coro. There it is. This is really pretty. I love the way that it's jointed. Just has that real kind of early 60s look. I love that one. Very comfortable too. So I found a storyteller bracelet. I really like this one. I was thinking, you know, I don't know, maybe it's gold. It was a dollar, I think. So I grabbed it. I don't know if is this supposed to be Hawaii. I'm not sure. I didn't see any marks. I have to check this one out further, but I thought it was interesting. And I have another one too that's similar. So then I found this one too. This is great. This is like an Aztec kind of thing. There's the desert. I didn't see any marks on it and it's not magnetic. So I do have to check this one further. It sort of has that Greek key design on the edges. This is a really great cuff bracelet. I love this one. So here's a collar necklace. I love this. And I actually really like the way it looks on me too. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this one. Kind of cool, right? This one is not old at all, I don't think. Yeah. It's not old, but I really, really do love it. It kind of has almost like an Egyptian flavor to it, I think. This is my kind of jewelry right here. Cool item. This has that real Iris Apfel thing going on. I don't know uh, if it is. I'm not sure. It's not signed. Let me see if I can get a better kind of shot at it. It's very long. This is all plastic, of course. And these links here, they are graduated. They do go smaller as you get up around the other part of it. So this is great. I really love uh, wearing red. It's very confident. I love the color red. And I love plastic jewelry. I don't know. I just thought it was very, very nicely done. And I'm going to have fun wearing this one for a while. I might sell it eventually, but this is a cool piece. So I found this necklace at a thrift store and I bought it because I love it. And I don't usually wear delicate jewelry like this, but I love this necklace. So this does look a little bit like a Van Cleef and Arpels. They have a jewelry, um, a jewelry line. I think it's called Alhambra and it's based on the four leaf clover. I think it began in the 1960s. 
This looked awfully good to me. I didn't see any marks on it. Now, I probably would never even have known about this, but I know somebody who collects Van Cleef stuff, and she has some pieces from this collection. I mean, hers aren't vintage or anything like that, but she just, like, walks into Van Cleef and buys this stuff. And they are tens of thousands of dollars, but... Um, I think I paid two dollars for this. That's more my price range. I didn't see any marks. Anyway, I think the Van Cleef mark is VCA, which I've never seen in, in real life except from my friend there. Anyhow, I love this necklace. It's very, very long and I just think it looks very high quality. I really, really do love this a lot. And again, it's nice and long, which I really like. I mean, you could double it up too, but very pretty. I love the purple too. And amethyst is my birthstone. So that's a real beauty right there. Then I found some thermoset. I'm such a sucker for thermoset. I love thermoset jewelry. And this one is nice and pink. Now my camera is really making it look pale. But this is pretty. All the beads are the same size. There's no graduated ones here. Now, I think this is so adjustable. I think you could wear this as a choker really tight around your neck if you wanted to. Very pretty item, isn't it? Hook closure. I love that. I wish you could see how pink it is. I don't know why on earth my camera is doing that. But anyway, thermoset beads, beautiful. So I found this. Here's another mid-century necklace. And um, I had actually seen this before. Four. It is signed right there. It is a listener. And they kind of have some sloppy glue going on in the back. But it doesn't matter because it's not really what you would see. I didn't see any missing stones. And this one, too, came with matching earrings, which is just a great bonus. So listener didn't really hold its value. These used to actually sell for a little bit of money, like uh, 10 or 15 years ago, I probably could have gotten $70 for this without an issue. Now I could probably get uh, $15 for it tops, but I do really like it. I don't know. I guess it's just, I don't know, is it out of style, I guess? I don't know. I think this could really work with a great springtime or summer outfit. I really like it. I found so many necklaces lately. Here's another great one. I love this tassel. This one is not like very, very long, but it's long enough for me. I really love this necklace. Just gold tone, not signed by anybody. But yeah, I'd love this movement. That's really cool. Look at that knot. Love it. Now, I love this necklace too. I feel like necklaces aren't really showing up on my camera so great, uh, but I'll try to explain it to you. This is a very, very long necklace. This is almost a 40-inch necklace, and I love it. I just love it as it is with this uh, sort of black faux stone and then the, the dangly tassel part. But what I really like about it, too, is this. There's a toggle clasp here that you can put through this and make it much, much shorter. Yeah, so now that just like uh, shortened it right up. So this would just go uh, right around your neck and sort of just lay not too low. Yeah, that one's really, really great. Here's another great necklace. How much do you love this? And if you're thinking this looks like an antique, it's only because it's a 1928 which is such a great name brand. They just made, and still do, I guess, wonderful reproductions of old jewelry. There's the hang tag, 1928. Isn't that lovely? I think that's so nice. Talk about movement. This one has a lot of it. Look at this great vintage necklace. I guess this is a pagoda. This is super great. This is probably from the 60s, maybe the early 70s. And um, it might be 50s, but I don't think so. It really has kind of a cool look to it, kind of a cool mod look. I didn't see any markings on this one, but I just love this. I love the rhinestones on top. Now, this is a little bit like kind of janky right here. See, it's like loose. I'm not sure what to do about that. I don't know if it's supposed to be. I don't think so. I don't want to glue it, though. 
but I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know if it snaps in there. Anyway, I got to take a closer look at that. It almost looks like a stoplight too, right? I just love this. And these beads really make it these sort of filigree beads. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I got this one. I can't remember where, but I know I didn't pay much for it. This was a great find, I think. Let's have a look at a few things I've picked up recently uh, that aren't jewelry, but some things that you might find interesting. Uh, oh, there it is. Yes, it says sterling right there. See, I knew it. It was making a liar out of me because I couldn't see it a minute ago. So this is an antique button hook. And I think this is very ornate and kind of unusual. This was in a bunch of jewelry and I picked it out just because I thought it was kind of cool. Don't you like that? I do. Pretty little piece. And I found this one too. Um, oh, I didn't know it was chipped like that. Uh-oh, I think I actually might have done that. Oh no, I hope I didn't. Anyway, uh, I found this thing, which is cool. It looks like a giant tablet, right? If you look inside, you'll see that it's a thimble. I thought that was kind of neat too. I like that. Kind of weird. I found this in a thing of jewelry also. Neat old item, right? Here's a little uh, kind of pillbox kind of thing. I did not see a mark on here, but if this isn't silver, I would be shocked. It just, it certainly looks like silver. I'll have to test it. I don't know why it's not marked unless I just haven't found it yet. That's a cool item. I don't think it's really super old or anything, but I found that in a bunch of jewelry. I thought that was interesting. It was very inexpensive. So I picked that one up. So I found this old belt buckle thing and I just wanted to show you that it says nickel silver, which means that it doesn't have any silver. It's just sort of this weird misnomer. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that. I really love this blue enameling on this one and this sort of hammered look. Very cool vintage belt buckle. So I found this antique straight razor and I just wanna show you the handle because it is kind of jewelry related in the sense that it is uh, sort of an imitation ivory looking handle. So this makes it really uh, plain to see that somebody couldn't afford ivory and instead they got this celluloid, which does look like ivory. I mean, it looks like a very, very expensive razor. Now this one is just all rusted out and everything else. But um, yeah, look at that font. Isn't that cool? Extra hollow ground, fully warranted. Warranted. Hmm? Anyway, it's not very sharp. Oh, yeah, I guess it kind of is. All right, I better be careful with it. Anyway, that was interesting. I found this with some jewelry at a yard sale uh, in Maine, actually, on my recent trip there. So I'm hoping somebody can help me with the following items. So I found this one recently, and this is nice and old. It's missing its, its bead right here. So I saw this, and I thought, oh, this is probably angel skin coral. I guess, but I don't know why it's so white. It's old and it's very nice. You see that there are knots between each bead. I really kind of like this because it's so white and then it just has sort of little touches of orange. But uh, someone tell me, is this actually angel skin coral? Is that what this is? Let me make sure it's not marked. I didn't see anything. Yeah, okay. But what I thought was interesting was then I have this other one. So let me show that to you too. Now I have all this stuff on my hands from that um, straight razor box. But anyway, what is this then? If this is angel skin, or maybe it isn't, is this just coral or? I don't know. This one's very, very nice too. Now there are knots in between these beads too. And this one has 14 karat gold findings. And uh, this one, look, that one's actually really super nice. This actually has a little bit of weight to it too. So that's really nice that that's 14 karat. Anyway, I'm hoping somebody can help me. Just tell me what these are. They're very uh, cool to the touch. I don't think they're glass. I don't know. They might be. So just hoping somebody can help me out here. Um, yeah, I don't know. What is this and what is this? Somebody let me know. And, and thank you in advance, by the way, but I would just love to know from an expert uh, what these are. They're pretty. 
then I got this really pretty bow with the pearls, which I thought was really nice. And then uh, I saw that it was Mark Trafari. Sure it is, because you can just tell, right? You can tell this is sort of a higher quality than some other pieces I um, that I might see or that you might see. And this one also comes with matching earrings, which is just an added bonus. I thought this was a very, very pretty set. I think these are beautiful earrings. Look at the blue. Isn't that nice? I got those earrings together with this, but I don't think they go. I mean, somebody put them together. I mean, I guess you could wear them together, but yeah, they don't really look that alike. They're both very cool, though, the earrings and the necklace. Not marked. Here's another necklace I found. I really did find a lot of necklaces. Um, I just keep seeing them, and they are just awesome. I love the length on this one, too. This is a great length for me. Nice and long. I love that one. Surprise, it's not signed. It looks like, um, you know, something from Express or Ann Taylor or something. Pretty item. So I have one last item to show you today. I have this very, very beautiful necklace. So pearls, I'm not an expert, so maybe somebody can help me out here too. I don't think they're Tahitian or anything like that because the findings are not um, real. They're just silver tone. Now, my understanding is that one of the ways you test, by the way, these do feel gritty on my teeth, but one of the ways is you look for imperfections, and these definitely are. There's some weird stuff going on and like little blemishes and things, but my understanding is that uh, they fake that. They fake those blemishes and they make them so they're all not perfectly round. So yeah, who knows? I don't know, but please tell me if you do. Just curious. Let me find the end and I'll show that to you. Yeah, see, it's this. And I see, I don't see any markings on that. So I, I don't know. So that's all I have for this haul this time. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed looking at some of my finds. I think I got a lot of really, really great stuff. And if you can help me out with the, some of the bead necklaces I've shown or anything else for that matter, please just leave me a comment below. And you know, I always love to hear what your favorite item is too. So let me know that also. All right, take care everybody. Be well, and I hope to catch you soon. Have a great day.